Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what Sorry. I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all sorry. my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous. And at times deaf really now. Scary. I'm sorry. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And oh whatever my God, you do, I remember read this what's doll. in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Is it, is it good? so creepy this is from the the ireland game remember with the banshee remember we had to do that uh puzzle oh my god oh my god and then i don't remember where this mask is but like look look how far we've come guys oh my god we didn't do this one though this one's the bad one they got rid of it there was there was something really bad in the game that canceled this game, so they had they deleted it. Um, they, you can't play that game anymore, which is okay with me. I don't I don't want to play games that get canceled. Um, but now we're on to number twenty one, which is w warnings at Waverly Academy. <laughs> yeah, it was probably not fun anyway, so. Time to get your pens and pencils and notebook. Yeah, do y'all do y'all have your screenshot button ready? <laughs> Since we we normally don't write anything down, but y'all can write down if y'all want to. But was volume okay? Did I need to turn it down more? Turn it up more? What did y'all thought? Think? What did y'all think? I hear a dog. Bark, bark, bark. Where's the plane ticket? It was fine. The headmistress at the oh. Waverly Academy for Girls go. has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Oh, Fast. shoot! And so, pretending to be a transfer student Tran named Becca Sawyer, transfer. I'm going to go undercover Becca. at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. She's I have the same to use name a as my plan instead of my real one because if any of my soon to be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. That's and true. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed totally on my own into a world of bright, privileged, click conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. Yeah, nothing gets feistier than sassy girls in a academy. Is this the all girls academy? All girls academy. <laughs> I forgot how much text these games have. Well, luckily they they just say it, so then we don't have to read all of it. Um. So we're gonna go under the name as Becca Sawyer. So we're not Nancy Drew today, we're Becca, which is the same name as my plant, which is funny, <laughs> but whatever. All right, here we go. Oh, actually, no, my plant's name is Becky. All right, junior, cause screw senior. <gasps> here we go. Man, I would be terrified of this school. Ah! Two weeks ago. Ooh. What's happening? Look at these. <gasps> Time's up. Oh, time is up for this young lady. <gasps> Trapped in a door or in a hey. closet. This isn't funny. Let me out. Turn the light Let off. Let me out. That is really mean. Okay, we gotta find. It's bully behavior. We gotta find these bullies. But it said time's up with a paw print. Maybe they're hey, a cat you're person. The new person. Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Kareen, the person who stuck rooming with you. I mean, stuck. you're the person who stuck rooming with me. Anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our humble dwelling space. Tell us how you really feel, Kareen. All right, here we go. Thanks. Sorry to barge in and bug you like this. You look really busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. 
I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. I'm so glad and I'm not in school anymore. Having you barge in like this. <laughs> but then I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are technically, but you're not really because I'm so... Never mind. Yeah, there's things like that in school that I was like, I have to do what now? Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, I hated research papers was a passion. I hated writing. Writing was just not for me. Also, how much you want to bet we're gonna gonna we're gonna snoop on her computer? <laughs> Which one is my bed? Which one oh, is my bed? My that bed. One. Used to be Danielle's, my old roommate. She had kind of a bad experience. That was got the girl that got locked in a closet. Pitch black closet overnight. Yeah. Oh. See, she was claustrophobic. So oh. when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that hmm. afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. I should probably tell you <laughs> until she on this died. I've been getting these like threatening notes from someone That's calling herself horrible. the black cat. The black the cat. A warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to, and <gasps> had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Oh my Somebody's god! Obviously playing a prank. But a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. That's like not anyway, prank worthy. That's like here, bully behavior. First thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France. Leon, it'll be here in a couple of days. France? Then please, go on. Anyway, wow. You can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Don't mess with Let's Paige. See, what else? Oh, yeah. This floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice. So ah, motive. Deal. Motive. The only truly viable candidate is me. Wait a minute. You mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something. Or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. Did she say she was the only one left? So then it's her. We found her. She's the black cat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But still, wow, that's like evil behavior. Locking somebody that's claustrophobic in a closet and turning the light off, that's on another level. Having somebody eat something they're allergic to, another level. Yeah, straight to jail. Straight to jail. Let's Have learn more. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. Oh, you're dead. You're dead meat. Oh, no. Or she planted it on herself to make her look innocent. Really? Where did you find it? On the floor over there. Somebody slipped it under the door during the night. Oh. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? <laughs> she was pretty neurotic. There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Where's the cello music coming Where's from? that cello music coming from? Next I thought it was the background Mel music. Corbulus. Mel Corbulus. She's dropping names down like it's nothing. I don't know. I'm not going to keep track of, track of all these girls, man. <sighs> Depending on the allergy, that's felony behavior. I know. Whoever this black cat is, straight to jail with you. To jail. Does she ever stop playing? Depends on her mood. When she's really, really down, I'll bet if they didn't give demerits for making noise after hours, she'd play that thing 24-7. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that, well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. So everybody hates you? Check. All right. Gonna write down that in my notes. Which one's my bed? Which bed is mine? Is this mine? Hello? Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. 
Hello, Becca. Welcome to Waverly. Since you just transferred here and don't really have any papers due or exams to study for, unlike the rest of us, I could really use your help on this project I'm working on. Please come see me as soon as you can. My room's at the other end of the hall. Wow, Rachel. I do have stuff to do. Oh my god, is this Bess and George? Oh, that's cute. Oh my god. Look at them. Look at the hair. <laughs> I'm assuming that's Bess and George. Is there anything else? That's it? Is there anything else I can click on in this room? Like, that's it? So I guess this is her bed, and then this colorful one is my bed. Wow, we're gonna talk about... Wait, right? Is this one mine, or is that one mine? Oh, this one's mine! This this one's mine? Wow, mine's boring! Look at hers! She has planets! Can I sleep? Oh! Why did that scare me? I wouldn't do that if I were you. What, jump out the window? Yeah, I think that's a wise decision to not jump out the window. What the heck? Corey Myers, Mr. Mingle says hi. Oh, ah, my God! It. Dang oh, it! Your hair's on fire. <laughs> no wonder you're in a hurry. My hair's what the on heck? fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. <laughs> Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. Or I'll stalk this way, you. You'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. Breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study <laughs> hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. She actually genuinely freaked me out. I don't know why I'm easily... I guess I'm jumpy today. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> I love how she says some people look good with red hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> Giving up your phone to a stranger like that? Yeah, but she's a class president. She'll get in some deep doo-doo if she did anything to our phone. At least I hope. All right, let's see. Help, disappearing under a mound of laundry. Can I borrow some detergent? It's open. Whoa. Whoa, this girl's room is freaking cool. Who are you? Uh, oh, I'm your Becca hair. Sawyer. It's an interesting hair choice. I just moved into the room next door. Oh, yeah, you're the transfer. The one who got kicked out of some school in France? What? What? No, I didn't. Waverly's primary source of all wisdom and truth has been suggesting otherwise. Hey, look, I don't really care, but you got to admit it's kind of weird to be changing schools in the middle of your senior year, and the fewer gory details you provide as to why, the more kids are going to talk. Or should I say text? Should I say text? <laughs> so I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. Cursed? Wait, why? Yeah, you sound skeptical. You sound a little skeptical. <laughs> what in the, the hair is just some of hair? idiotic prank. End of story. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Uh, I reckon she set your phone to be able to track you every move now, probably. Oh my gosh, what exactly happened to her? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. Do you think that's going to save in my notes? So she thinks it's Megan. 
Okay, Megan. She thinks it's Megan. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast too, so we get along pretty well. Really? What makes you say she's a social outcast? She's so desperate for people to like her, she gets on everyone's nerves. Me? I don't much care if people like me or not, but Corrine? She cares a lot. And it Except shows. People, people pleaser like me. <laughs> Is it show chat? Does my people pleasing behaviors show? I'm betting it's already in your phone, probably. You play that cello pretty, pretty well. well. Thank you. I oh, taught myself okay. to play when I was 10. <laughs> I thought she was going to be pretty well. I'm amazing. Does Waverly have an orchestra? Yeah, but as you may have guessed, I'm not much of a joiner. I'll let you get back to your music. Sounds She's good. not a joiner. She's a leader. What is this? Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. Dang. Searching for something is what life is for. To find what is hidden, read much, followed by more. Ooh, so there's secrets. Ooh, it's secrets in the... Ooh! It's secrets in the, in the school. We're gonna have to find them. Look at this creepy doll. Is there anything else I can click on? So far, it's not a lot of, like, clicking to see, you know? I mean, I guess we don't want to look Snoop through her room now, right? We gotta wait. Oh, here's the restroom. Mm -mm. What the heck was that sound? E S S E O. Hey, who wrote that? <laughs> Becca Sawyer has B O. <laughs> who wrote that? Hi, Terrell. Thank you for the 63 streak. Hello. You need some air freshener when you need it. Oh, I like. I like knowing. I want to. Cuckoo want fruit. Cuckoo want fruit. What is one that from? One crow's nest coming up. One crow's nest. Hey. We made a crow's nest. That's a drink that we made in, in Ireland. One crow's nest. Come on. What are these sounds? Bathroom Not sounds? Not nice, Wayne. Not nice at all. Who's Wayne? Uh -uh. Okay, I think I got them all. <laughs> it's funny sounding. Hi, Whirly. We are solving mysteries today. Okay, Nancy just uh, went to the bathroom. Ooh, fire alarm. Should I pull it? <laughs> Hold on, let me save. Um, looking around. <laughs> Ooh, bless me. Do it. That's five demerits. Oh no! That's it? Oh. Oh no! How do I load? No. Load. <laughs> Five demerits my butt! All right, Rachel Hubbard, don't forget study group tonight. She's the one who literally is stealing me in my free time so I can help her. <sighs> Izzy Romero Lila Yad Yadav Yadav. Thanks for the treats. I can make it through the weekend now. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. <laughs> Jeez, I sounded like I was about to barge in. <laughs> Open the door. All right. What? Rachel. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? 
I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. No! Bye! Who the heck? No! But I don't know anything about web design. But I don't know anything about web design. Yeah, it sounds like a you, you don't problem. Have to. I just need you to do grunt work. Take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. You sure that's not cheating? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. I know this is kind of weird, but... I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP Chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs. I hate cauliflower. My favorite subject's math. And I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is she needs take everybody. a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Course. Great. Course. Uh, how are we feeling about her? She literally just admitted that she wouldn't be valedictorian unless everybody else messes up. What do we think? On a level of she did it to innocent, what do we think? That is sus behavior. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I sus want you to real. take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? Her hair right I may here need bothers you to do something me. Else. Tuck that in. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? I don't know. I I kind of take it back. I kind of I kind of I'm not locked. Mm. Izzy must be somewhere else. No, I think it's okay. Oh, this is a restroom. E -O. Man, hey, who's writing who's, who's writing that in all the restrooms? All right. Paige Griffin. You may not come in. Just leave. Locked. Go away, please. Not now, please. Sorry, I so much for a resident advisor. Right <laughs> wow, what if I was dying? <laughs> Kidding. Can I click these books? No. All right, where should we go next? Maybe downstairs. Oh wait, I need to take photos of people. Hold on. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? You look me up online? Well, yeah. It's the 21st century. As soon as you meet somebody, that's what you do. And... Stalker! the age of like 30 who doesn't have something up on your page, either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because... for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. What the heck? I'm sorry, but I, I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? Nosy? Nosy! Is that why people don't like her? Because she's nosy? Also, Crimson, thank you so much for the nine months. Wait! Congratulations from being born from the womb of the fairy mother. It's been nine months. Thank you so much, Crimson. I love that you play Nancy Drew. I love this game. <laughs> or I love these games. I, we've been slowly playing all of them. Hopefully when the new Nancy Drew launches, whenever that happens, we'll have played all of them and then can play the new one. <laughs> that would be cool. Um... Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Mm -hmm. Better you than me. You don't like her? Let's just say she's not one of my favorite people. She's kind of flaky. Like last month, she flunked a test that took her out of the running for valedictorian. The tea. Technically, she shouldn't even be on this floor anymore. Dang! <laughs> what? Wow. Different? I met Mel. She's very different. Nancy! Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did <laughs> say I was her friend, right? 
Oh, sorry, that was dumb. There we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. And loserish. Interesting choice of words. Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted <sighs> because I was the most deserving applicant like I ever. I earned my Those way. Those are my words, not the school's, of course. But it's still true. <laughs> Dang, this girl's savage. I ran into someone in the hall when I left here. Oh, that Her was name Izzy. Was Izzy? That would be Isabella Romero. Izzy for short. Queen Izzy. I can just see her acting all warm and fuzzy while she sizes you up, trying to decide if the new girl is worthy of becoming one of her subjects. <laughs> Sounds like you don't like Sounds her. Sounds like you don't like her. That girl never, ever passes up a chance to do or say something cruel to me. She just does it because she's jealous, of course, but it's still... But it's still annoying. Dang, man. Wait, yeah, she's our she's our roommate, this girl. She's our roommate. What are... They are making a new Nancy Drew game? They are, Whirly. <laughs> it's called, like, Ransom of the Seven Keys or something like that. Something about keys. These girls really are brutal. Holy cow. The more she talks, the more, the less light she is likable. Yeah, for real. I need to take a close-up of you for a web page Rachel's working on. That okay? <sighs> Without your camera, let's get it over with. Keys. Becca, what are you doing? Yoo-hoo! I'm waiting! <laughs> Where can I find Leela Yada? I need to take her picture. I'm perfect. Leela is Izzy's roommate. She's probably in the rec room. I'll let you get back to your paper. That's what Enjoy. she gets for being mean. <laughs> Oddly enough, I want the uniform. I don't think that's odd. Alright, let's get Mel. Yeah. Mel's How photo. About that? This door's not locked. Oh. Back of the she doesn't lock her door. On? I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school <laughs> website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its website? Oh, is it? Groovy. Blast away. Oh, Crimson, maybe it's not Ransom of the Seven Ships. Maybe I, I merged... Hold on, maybe I merged the wrong word. I can't remember. It's something about keys, though. I think something with keys. I'm I think, ready. and you're right. It, oh, I, you're right. I mean, she did say it doesn't have to be like. So take the picture. It doesn't have to be good photography, right? There we go. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Sounds good. All right, let's go take other people's photos now. <laughs> but they did make it off silly. Sorry, Crimson. I got. I probably just got the name wrong. Seven something. Seven keys, maybe. Or maybe it's not seven keys. Whoa, is this the library? Wow! This is amazing live! I would read in here 10 out of 10. Holy cow! This is... Oh my god! Also... Oh, what is this? Website? <gasps> the catalog? Oh, apparently, apparently I need a password. I can charge my phone. Um, ooh, ooh, there's a girl here. Bonjour. Oh, unfortunately, that and Chouette Delore are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. You know, she looks like an actress from... Oh, what is that? Pretty Little Liars? She looks... She looks like that one girl. I forgot her name. Hold on. She looks like... Oh my god. How do you... Oh, Spencer. Or wait, no. That's her name in Pretty Little Liars. 
Tro Troian Belisario. Do y'all know who that is? This girl. She looks like this girl. Oh my god. She looks like this actress. Oh, y'all probably can't tell. Oh my god. No clue. Look her up. Look her up. She looks like her. At least that's what when I first see her. I, I see that actress. Oh, hi, Juju. The library is kind of scary. You think so? Okay, let's see. I hear your roommate is Lila Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Nobody likes Kareen. When did Pretty Little Liars come out? I wonder if they base her off the actress. Yeah, look, they look similar, don't they? Yeah. Uh, why not? Why not? Because she's Kareen. And Kareen is just not cool. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Kareen wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's gonna hold it against you. Sounds like who you hang out with around here is pretty important. Hey, this is the real world. It's important no matter where you are. See, I would hate this school. Oh my god. Talk about, oh my god, cat, catty. Mystery of the Seven Keys, is that it? Yeah. I don't think they have a release date for it, but yeah, that's it. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Ready for my close-up, darling. Let's go, Vecca. Can we do this, please? I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Kareem doesn't like her. What is it when you're purposely being incompetent so that nobody asks for your help anymore? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. She seems nice enough. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. Dang! Oh, gotta give her that much. What happened to these girls? All these girls need to go in like therapy. What's your take on Mel? All that edgy, free spirit, deep thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. You don't think she's that smart? Book smart? Maybe. People smart? Complete zero. If her mother hadn't gone Weaponized here, they wouldn't allow her within 50 miles of this place. In fact, I think she's a borderline psychopath. What? Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. So, she's a valedictorian candidate. Corrine is. Mel is. But the other girl isn't. But she's on the same floor. I think the notes are kind of creepy. I think they're just a stupid distraction. And the person sending them should be expelled. Not that who that person is is any great mystery. It isn't? It's Mel. See, like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? Maybe. Mm, you're on this side of the black... I feel like the black cat's a little too extreme, but dang, these girls need... They need a hug or something, man. Why the black cat? Why isn't this person sending notes from the black snake or the red spider or something? It's not as cool, well, Nancy. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but supposedly there was a teacher here once a long time ago that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack and she died. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows. And whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. 
Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a Holy silly ghost story. Holy crap. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. Wow. So somebody did die. Oh my god, it reminds me of like Harry Potter and like the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Jeez! Sort of Harry Potter. But you know what I mean? Like, ooh! They pranked a teacher and she died? I'll catch you later. I Adios. agree, Whirly. Jeez, man. I like the music in here. Looks like I need a key. The story of Thor. This music is way too happy from what I was just told. <laughs> Can I click anything? I can't read any books in this library. Oh, here we go. Reference books. No? <laughs> what? Fine. I don't want to read books anyways. Can I go upstairs? Can I go up the stairs? I guess not. Alright. What else can we do? Oh, another fire alarm. <laughs> uh, what is this? Spoons? What does that say? Celebratory dinner? Checked out to El Yadav. Okay. Looks like I need a key. Looks like I always need a key. What is this? Does anybody know any songs I can play? Oh, I can even hit these. I wish I knew a song to play y'all, but I don't. Sorry guys, I used to be able to know piano. Ooh, the music. The music! Chat the music! Oh my god, even the lamps are keys. Oh! Somebody write this down. D2, A2, B2, D3, F3, A2, C2. But I don't even know what key is what. Oh my god, there's more! Oh no, did you get jump scared by the lamp? I'm sorry. Is there supposed to be music? Oh, y'all didn't hear it? Oh, there's no music now. But there was there was music, but it was really quiet music. It just sounded so mysterious, like it fit. It fit. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Ooh. Oh! What is that? Oh, it was a squirrel. All right, then that squirrel gave me attitude. Watch out, squirrel, I'm coming for you. Squeak, squeak it to you too. I don't wanna leave just yet. I wanna leave, these girls are mean. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, locked. of course everything's locked. Always. <laughs> Hi, Kill. how are you doing? I left too quickly? Okay, I'll go back, I'll go back. There was two that we needed a screenshot. Also, was the music too low? Do I need to like increase the volume? Here, if I hear the music again, I'll let y'all know. Maybe I was talking over the music and that's why you couldn't hear it. Yvesu, have you ever played any of these games? All right, here's one. This is a different one. It's your birthday? Wait, you share the same birthday as Orca. Happy birthday, Ran. Happy birthday. Who 
who's going around locking all these doors? I don't know, the principal maybe? The principal? Closest thing I, oh, Ace Attorney? I've never played Ace Attorney, but I have played Professor Layton. And I love those games. And there's like a new one, I think, coming out. I don't know when, but. All right, thank you, Jai. All right, here's the other one. What's the most difficult Nancy Drew you have played so far? Uh, probably, probably the earlier one that we got soft locked in. <laughs> it was, um, I don't remember. What was that one? It was like a theater. Was it Danger by Design? No, it wasn't Danger by Design. It was, it was like one of the earlier ones. Shoot, I forgot. Hold on. That's going to bother me. Um, mm, oh, stay tuned for danger. That one. That one. That one. Oh, that one. All right, does anybody know the piano? Maybe I'm not supposed to know yet, actually. Usually we get a book or something that helps teach us piano. So never mind. Never mind. We'll just wait. I don't want to break the game. They, oh, it's open. Odyssey Championship. Oh my God, am I, oh my God, why is this open? Is somebody gonna use this as a weapon and bash somebody over the head? Maybe I should take it away. Oh, who's this? Soccer player. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back. Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm just Lila Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. With just the clothes on my back? What's wrong with my clothes? A cabinet that's not locked in Nancy Drew? Sus. I know, right? Sus. Suspicious. Um. How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? I'm working on two papers, actually. But they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Do you think the black cat had anything to do with your wrist? Well, my falling like that was really weird. I mean, ordinarily, I'm real coordinated. But I think it was <laughs> real just bad coordinated. Luck. Happens to everybody. I mean, look at you, being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Why do you say that? <laughs> Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. Really? See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I gonna let a couple of stupid both? get to me. Dang. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website. These girls That's are unhinged. Okay. They are. No problem. Fire when ready. I don't, like, none of, none of the ones that, um, <laughs> I feel like this is, is the, a problem? I feel like this is the most, like, amount. I'm waiting. Of sassiness. Ha or was there any other ones that were super sassy? Perfect. <laughs> Got a good shot of her hair and her forehead. Are you and Izzy pretty good friends? We get along. We're roommates mostly because we're both valedictorian candidates, and that's no. just the way the room assignments worked out. We've had other sassy girls, I think, in the game. This is just, it's fun when it's dramatic. <laughs> so you don't know her that well? Sure I do. I mean, with Izzy, what you see is what you get. She's smart, she's pretty, she's popular, she's always got a boyfriend. That's Izzy. What more is there to know? 
Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Oh my god. Why not? She's just a pain. She tries so hard to fit in that it turns people off. Most people, at least. Mel Corbulus and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. Dang. I bet they're all doing it to each other. Oh, everybody is pretending it's a black cat, but they're doing... <gasps> Good point, Effin. I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my Nancy boyfriend to Nancy is call. getting all the he goes tea. to Oxboro. That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. Talking to you helped kill the time? <laughs> I'm gonna pop a hole in her soccer ball. All right. Let's see. What else? What do we got over here? Any oh, man. It's messy over here. Oh, TV. Rec room quiet hours. 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Press menu for stations. Have a safe week. Have a safe prep week break. How is a, how can you even have fun during a prep week? What is this? The rec room is for all enjoy, for the enjoyment of all students. Do not leave personal belongings in the room. Dispose of snack shop waste appropriately. All electronics are to be turned off when not in use. Cell phone use is not permitted in the rec room. Dang. I'm going to keep this on. Oh, it turns off. Oh, what is this? Puzzles. Darts. Wait, are we going to have to... Can we play? No? What's in here? Got some chips, some salt, some tools, some cleaning solution. Can I get a snack? Apple maybe? No? <gasps> hey look! That's the Her Interactive logo. Can I not read that? I can't click on it. <laughs> Can I go up the stairs? Oh, I see. I see where we are. Okay, wait. Was there anything... Bat Hold on. We're not done yet. Alright, so... That's out there. That's out there. What about... Oh, yeah. What about in here? What's in here? It's locked. <laughs> Figures. Alright. Um, okay. I wanted to play air hockey. <laughs> that honestly sounded hey, what's fun. what's going on? I better get going. Did Bye. I take a photo of everybody? I took a photo of Mel. I took a photo of Corrine. I took a photo of this girl and Izzy. Oh, I just didn't take a photo of Rachel. I'm gonna this is gonna be so bad people already suspect her and already don't like her so when they see that they that she uploaded these photos on the website <laughs> oh no <laughs> how about that this door's not locked then open the door Nancy go in Nancy how about that? This door's not locked. Why can't I go in? Not now, please. Not now, please. Not now, please. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Not now, please. Hmm. What do I do now? Oh, ask Corrine since she's the on-call library assistant if she has a key. Oh, okay. I guess so. What's up, Rumi? I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. She sounds nice about her. Some really competitive people cheat. Does she? Probably. Oh, I never mean, mind. I can't prove it, but come on. A jock up for valedictorian? No way. Something's hinky somewhere. And speaking hinky. of hinky, she started wrapping her wrist about a week ago. But is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe Soak she's that smart fire, to Nancy. one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it, it is possible. <laughs> Do you know where I can get the key Yay. that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? 
You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Oh, no. Uh, kind of bad. There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. What, what book? I'll give you the key to the cabinet if you can finish these orthographic views for me. What? How do I do that? Just figure out which Doing views everybody's homework. Which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Anything else? I'll let you get back to your paper. Suit yeah, yourself. Everybody's doing, I'm doing all their work for them. I should be valedictorian. Orthographic projection represents a 3D object in 2D by using front, top, and side views of the object. Uh, exercise, assign the orthographic projections to their correct view and object. And uh, the object is projected onto a flat surface from the, 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 okay. All right. This is top. This is the side. Front uh, is this one. All right. Uh, front top <laughs> side. DJ, thank you for the 105 months. How are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Um. Oh, I think this one's the side. Uh. This one's top. Do you think this one's front? DJ is a legend. 105 months. How are you doing today, DJ? Side on the first one is wrong. Oh, is this wrong? Oh, this is wrong. This one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Alright, top. This should be top. Front and side. Is that right? Hope all is well with you. Doing good. Playing some Nancy Drew, solving some puzzles. This one's like a super mean girl school where we, where some one of the girls is playing really really evil prank, like really evil pranks slash bullying, and we're trying to find who's doing it and stop them by getting them to spill the tea one girl at a time. Looks good. Okay, oh shoot, there's more. Oh, maybe not. You finished those ortho views for me? I think so. I think so. Okay, let's see what we've got. Sorry, you need to check the front view of this one. Anything else? <sighs> I'd better get going. Bye. Later. Is there more than one? Is there more than one? Oh, okay, so the front view is wrong on one of them? Which one is it? Which one's wrong? Wait, this one. There we go. You finished those ortho views for me? Oh, wait. I'm still working no, on No, I mean, I said I think Anything so. else? I'll see you in a bit. I think Later. so. I think you so. You finished those ortho views for me? I think so. Okay, let's see what we've got. Front view's wrong. Try again. Anything else? I'll let you get back to your paper. Off to whatever. Off to whatever? Die! Thanks for some good thing to That's sweet. What's wrong? <laughs> the front is the left side of the shape. Oh, shoot! You're right! You're right! Oh my god! No wonder I'm doing it wrong. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, maybe that means these are like this then. Like that. Like that, right, guys? And <laughs> thanks, Lexi. There we go, right? We just swap them.
Or no, I read it wrong too, because when I think front, I think like, yeah. Mm. It's okay, let's try this. Let's try this. You finished those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great, thanks. MVP Lexi! Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Anything else? I've bugged you enough. See ya. I've Suit bugged yourself. you enough. Alright, let's go use... What is this key for again? Was it for this thing? No, she said books. I like that sound for some reason. The outside basement? Ooh, I hope so. Let's try it. Who knows, maybe it's a key for multiple things. No! It's not. It's not. Megan Vargas? Did we get a photo of Megan? Who's Megan? Where's the library again? Here, here. Oh, this, 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 this. <laughs> this. Aha! There we go. Can read books now. <laughs> I'm a huge Nancy girly and have played Waverly a million times. I have memor I have it memorized pretty much. Wow! I used to play a ton of Nancy Drew games when I was younger and we've been... I don't think I ever played this one though. It was like around, I guess, 2008, 2009 that I didn't, I didn't care about them anymore because I was older. <sighs> but, oh yeah, this is my childhood, man. My childhood. So I've been enjoying showing, jo enjoying showing off these games to chat and also playing some of them for the first time. <gasps> more! That was the thing in that girl's room. Something about more, something hidden, something, find something hidden. The Story of Four by Mandolin Moore. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God, these are real people. <laughs> M D C C C L X V. All right, all right, my Final Fantasy friends. What does, what's that number? <laughs> what's that number, guys? Go. <laughs> I don't know if we need to know it. She's point, she has her hand on it though. It makes me think it's important. I should probably read this, huh? Let me read it. Chapter six, read a, oh! <gasps> Hollowell, that's the teacher that died. The accolades Waverly Academy routinely receives for its literature program are due in no small part of Rita Hollowell. She was born in 1831 in Baltimore, Maryland, the youngest of four children. As soon as they could reach the cash box, Rita and her siblings were put to work in their parents' general store. As a result, Rita learned reading, writing, and arithmetic at a very young age, and neither received nor required any formal education. But reading soon went from being a necessity to a passion, and by the time she was 12, she was secretly devouring every book and newspaper that entered the store. While on a rare family trip to New York City in the summer of 1846, Rita witnessed a spirited public debate between Edgar Allan Poe, whose poem The Raven was receiving wide acclaim, and one of his and one of his critics. Their lively discussion awakened in Rita a longing to study the literature that enthralled her, and to her family's shock, she refused to return home with them, demanding her inheritance so she could attend New York University. Her father refused, so Rita left to pursue her dreams on her own terms. But after two years, she found herself in financial straits and returned to Baltimore. Her parents for forced her to enroll in the nursing program at Washington College Hospital, a local hospital with a poor reputation. There, between classes and duty rotations, Rita continued to read and study literature as best she could on her own. 
In 1849, Poe, who had become one of Rita's, fav Rita's favorite writers, was admitted to the hospital, incoherent and deathly ill. Though little is known about his brief stay in the hospital, Rita no doubt spent every free moment at his bedside before he died days later. The exact cause of his death was unknown then, and it's still debated today. But shortly thereafter, for reasons known only to her, Rita suddenly left Baltimore, never to return. She traveled upstate, finding work as a teacher at several schools until she became a founding faculty member of Waverly Academy in 1866. For the next six years, she taught literature tirelessly. Outgoing and animated in the classroom, Rita was quite the opposite when not teaching. Her refusal to interact socially with students and faculty members alike caused many to speculate it was because she had a dark, perhaps even sordid, past. Ooh. When she died suddenly at the age of 41, rumors flew that her death was the result of a cruel practical joke perpetrated by a student who took exception to Rita's eccentric behavior. The fact that her beloved cat disappeared on the day of Rita's funeral only to reappear for years afterward whenever something strange occurred at the school only added to Rita's mystique, making her the most controversial and most colorful of Waverly's four founders. Dang! They even wrote that in the book? The heck? Oh, 1865 is the number? Oh, Okay, so it was like the year before she became a founding faculty member. Board of Directors, Jebediah Ramsey, Mabel Whit Whitter Whittier, Esther Abbott, Harriet Ramsey, uh, Rita Hallowell. Oh, that's all of them. Got it. wonder which one is her. Maybe her. She looks very stylish. I like that girl's. Um, umbrella. All right. That was it. The story of four. It was about them. Is that it? Is that all the books? Is that all the books I can read? Okay. All right. Um, check. 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 That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Investigate the reference to more that was in that sampler in Mel's room. May refers to a book, maybe? Okay, maybe that wasn't the book, then. Lexi! You do? I, I, I don't have my Nancy Drew notebook, but when I was younger, I kept this notebook, and I still have it to Did this that. day. Haven't done Where that. I would take screenshots and print them and put them in my binder. I mean, I would also like draw out some of the puzzles too, but. Haven't done that. Nancy people stay That's together. Done. This is so cute though. I've been trying to find more Nancy streams because I love Nancy Drew community. Aw, well, hello. We don't play all the time, but I do try do to. have to do that. I do, to try, that I do try to play as much as Did I that. can. Explore the grounds around Ramsey Hall. Check out the student guide that's on the computer in the library. Call Mel's roommate, Megan Vargas, and see what, if anything, the allergic reaction that got her sent home has to do with the black cat. Oh yeah, we need a call. Can we call in the library? I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. Newbie siding in Val, Can Ken Hall. Becca Sawyer has landed. From unknown. Ooh, that's creepy. <gasps> oh no! Oh. <gasps> Should we call Ned? Let's call Ned. I better wait. Why? I better wait. Oh, is it because I'm in the library? Hold on, let me let me get out of the library. I sure am. So how's it going? Terrible. Terrible. I can't figure out whether any of the girls I've met so this far actually Nancy's like boyfriend. me. This is Nancy's boyfriend. Of course they like you. And even if they do like me, no one's going to commit to being my friend until they're sure about where I fit in around here socially. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... 
Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking I don't know what he looks like. Do we know what Ned looks They're like? They're being sent by someone he who sounds them cute. as the black cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how it is a big deal. Kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. <laughs> the kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming Maybe for tests. Maybe because some of them are almost papers. hospitalized. The Maybe so, but they're still distraught. I'd be intimidated. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? He's Sorry. worried. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. right. He's so cute in these games, man. But I don't know if I've ever seen. Also, that is so cute, Lexi, that she made an Nancy Drew binder. Ugh, I want to see it. I forgot, did you say you watched the Nancy Drew TV show? No, I don't, I haven't seen the TV show. There probably is a Ned in the TV show, but I don't know. Um, I don't think they've shown a pit. but they have a picture of him in a few of the games. He's cute. He's supposed to be nerdy though. Which, which games has a photo of him? I kind of want to look, because now I can't remember what Ned looks like. <laughs> Um, I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school, it's a disaster. <laughs> Keep going. Who else? Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next a to me. A goth? A goth? As Why don't you hair and call her Mel? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? She's a legacy, meaning the women She's in her family legacy. have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cats? Don't know that yet. I know, right? A god. a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. <laughs> it seems like she just really wants to get Ned's reaction, so maybe she's being like that. <laughs> this is harsh, though. <laughs> Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Alibi and nice? ashes? She is to me, so far. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Keep going. Who else? Wait, which one is Alibi and Ashes? Oh, I haven't played that one. Oh, we we haven't played that one. Oh, so that's probably why I've never I've never seen his photo. I've never played that one. Wait, is that a photo of Ned? Here, y'all can see it. I don't want to click on it yet. I don't want to know. We all can click on it. Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete. And man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's a valedictorian? Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. Ah, uh, smart jock. Good for her. Keep going. Who Good else? Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. A Silent Spy. I don't think I've played any of the newer ones, like, at all. Yeah, like, I think after the Japanese one, I didn't play any of them. The Captive Curse. Oh, no, I didn't. See, I didn't play this one. I think I did probably play the Japanese one. Because, I don't know, I thought it looked scary. Learnings that I haven't played this one. I haven't played Trail of the Twister. I haven't played any of these. Tomb of the Lost Queen, Alibi and Ashes, and Silent Spy. I've never played any of these, so whenever we play these, it'll be my first time, too. <laughs> Ooh! This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd 
How'd you get out of that? I did. I did it. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. That is so true. What's this Rachel person like? Well, no well. one around here seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath, bo, poor taste in shoes. Leela says she's schizoid to the point of being scary, and she does tend to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. I don't know if they should be using that word. I need to get back. Watch yourself, Nan. I will, Alibi and Ash Talk is to you soon. so fun. Trail of Twister is also fun. Oh my god! Well, whenever I play that, that will be the first time I've ever played those games. Because I think whenever... Yeah, I don't know. It was just around that time, we just... <laughs> we grew up. <laughs> Uh, and that's probably also the time I moved to Canada, so then, and I was the leader of our friend group playing Nancy Drew games, so. But it's okay, I'll play them for the first time with you guys. Alright, let's talk, let's call Megan. This is the girl who had a really bad allergic reaction. This is Megan. Awful, Hi, They're my name awful. is Becca Sawyer. I'm a new student at Waverly, and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. I mean, I know you've been sick. I'm still kind of weak, but talking on the phone's not going to kill me. She sounds like Bess. Or George. No, Bess. What exactly happened to you anyway? I was eating dinner at school three nights ago when all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And when I tried to stand up, I got so dizzy I fell right over. So they rushed me to the hospital, and by the time I got there, I was turning blue, and my blood pressure was down to like 40 over 20 or something. Whoa. Blue. I'd gone in anaphylactic shock. But then they pumped me full of epinephrine, so by morning I was all stable and stuff. My parents were real upset. They dragged me home with them, and they still haven't said when they're going to let me go back. I even heard them talking about suing the school. Anyway, now I'm real upset. I really miss Waverly. For the most part. <laughs> what? She wants to go back after all of that? The game I played probably close to these was X-Files on PlayStation 1. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of... I mean, I've heard of the X-Files, but I didn't know it was a game. Alright, let's see. What else? Have you ever gone into anaphylactic shock before? Oh, yeah. I've been to the emergency room on account of my allergies so many times, it's ridiculous. So then maybe... See, it's... I'm allergic to tree nuts. Almonds, walnuts, cashews. My mom is always telling me to pay more attention to what I'm eating, but I'm really bad at that. Man, girl, you need to get better. You're gonna die one day. What's up with all this black cat stuff that's going on at Waverly? Good question. All I can tell you is, about ten days ago, someone slipped a note under my door. All it had on it were the words, The black cat wants you to start packing, and a paw print with some scratch marks. Weird. Then, about a week later, I got another note. All it said was, time's up. I went to dinner the next night and... Wound up in the hospital. You think whoever sent you that note tampered with your food and deliberately triggered that allergic reaction? I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I've been to the emergency room on account of my stupid allergies so many times, it's ridiculous. Mm. And even if someone did put something in my food, I'm still here. I mean, I always recover. It's not like they were trying to kill me or anything. So to answer your question, I wish I knew what the deal with the black cat is, but I don't have a clue. Maybe they were trying to, but they just didn't do it successfully. What is my favorite game that I've played so far? Oh, that's so difficult. I mean... I, oh my god, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm tied between Message in a Haunted Mansion, Treasure in a Royal Tower, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Um, when I first, I love Treasure in a Royal Tower and I loved learning about Marie Antoinette and like that kind of stuff. I thought the lore in that one was really nice and I just loved it. Couscous. Um, but Message in a Haunted Mansion was the first game that actually genuinely genuinely scared me as a child and my friend um granted we were really young when we played that one so I feel like I have really fond memories of that one and then same with Ghost Dogs Moon Lake that one scared that one scared us 
um, when we were younger. Also, I think we had the most fun playing that on stream, Ghost Dogs. And then also Shadows at the Water's Edge. That one was actually, that one was, that one was creepy. So, Scopa! No! No, I hated Scopa! Scopa can, can be banned from all I care about. I hated Scopa. What was that one from again? What was the Scopa one? Uh, what was the Scopa one? Oh, the Phantom of Venice. I hated Scopa. I hated that one. I don't remember a single title. Oh, you don't? It's okay. That's the first one I can think of. Which one was the exploding boat? No, that was the... <laughs> yeah, that was the uh, Ghost Dogs Moon Lake with the exploding boat. You got it. Did many kids at Waverly know about <laughs> your allergies before this last episode? Everybody knew. School policy. That way kids wouldn't give me anything with nuts in it. At least, that was the plan. I see. Interesting. Also, did y'all have a favorite Nancy Drew? What's y'all's favorite Nancy Drew? If you had to guess, who would you say the black cat is? Izzy Romero. Why her? Because she's the sneakiest, most spiteful person I've ever known. Wow. You've probably met her by now, and I know she doesn't seem that way, but you're new. Just wait. Just wait. I know them by events and setting. Well, you can just say the events and setting, and we're all pros here. We'll know what you mean. Could we'll you know. email me your picture? No! I need it for the school. I need website. to take it! Sorry. The camera on my cell phone oh. died on me, and my parents don't have a scanner here. Oh, but dang it! I think Leela has a decent picture of me. Go ask her. Leela Yadav, Izzy Romero's roommate. It's been great talking to you. Okay. Anyway, it's been real. I'll see you when I get back to Waverly, okay? Right, bye. All right, so I need to get a photo of her. Dang it, it's gonna ruin my, my photos collection. My bad photo collection of people. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Um. All right, so let's go find this person. Maybe we talk to Izzy about it, they said. Also, exploding schools. You got Nancy killed in a few times. <laughs> I've gotten Nancy killed quite a few times in these games. And obviously not on purpose. Maybe going? some of them are on purpose. <laughs> I thought Crystal Skull was great. Bess was such a great addition. Oh, yeah. That was good. The, mo the one with the snow bike chase. Oh, that one was another one I didn't necessarily like. Only because we got stuck in it and I didn't know what to do. But I think that snow bike chase was a uh, white wolf of Icicle Creek. Also, I hated having to constantly cook food for people. That was just annoying. I remember that. But yeah, the snowmobile chase. <laughs> I love Secret of Shadow. That one was fun too. Secret of Shadow Ranch. Last Train of Blue Moon Canyon. Wait. Oh, Draft Train of Blue Moon Canyon was good too. Oh, and Waverly's your favorite? Look at her. She's sus of me. She's like, why are you taking so long to talk to me? <laughs> Megan is the most chill of all the girls. Yeah, too bad she's not here. You got her turned into a mummy trapped in the museum. <laughs> oh my god, that did happen. I have harassed you enough. Adios. Um, wait, how do I get a photo? Did that. Oh, I need to check the student guide. Okay, let me go check this too. I'm not doing this in the right order. Where's the student guide? Oh, student life. There's... Ah! Dang it. I need a password. How's it going? Oh, here we go. Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. She has That's mob right. wife energy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to no! you. No! Too bad, huh? Ah! <laughs> Why are these girls? Oh, I hate these girls. Let me help you. Want me to help you? Sure, you bet. Excellent idea. Um. Okay, here's what you need to do. You just have to make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected to a sugar on the alternating sugar phosphate side. 
Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back. And if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. Sounds I good. haven't heard adenine and thymine in God knows how long. That, like, triggered a memory of me in high school. Jeez. What else is going on? I'll catch you later. No prob. Okay, so adenine is yellow. Black is thymine. Red is cysteine. Or, or cytosine, sorry, cytosine. Blue is guanine. White is sugar. Brown is phosphate. But these can't be moved. So red and blue have to pair and yellow and black have to pair. So. Oh, God, I can rotate them, too. Okay, let's, like, separate these as best as we can. Okay. Okay, so I think this has to be one. Or maybe, or maybe this. It could be this. Let's try this one. Um, black and yellow. We need a yellow. Um, could be this. Or let's see if this one works. No, this one wouldn't work. Okay, so it has to be this one. <laughs> I buried all chemistry knowledge deep inside my brain. I mean, that's why I was like, when I heard this, I was like, whoa, I haven't heard those words in a while. Secret of Shadow Ranch ending reminded me of ending of, to The Shining. It totally creeped me out. Oh, I, why can't I remember the ending of Secret of Shadow Ranch? Um. Oh, man, man these games are so good, though. People, y'all are missing out if you're not playing. Y'all, you gotta play. You gotta play. Oh, this looks right. That looks good. That looks good. All right. Um, uh, let's do this one. Let's see. So we need a black. So it could be. Um, well, this one doesn't have a little pink thing. So maybe this is okay. And then this one needs a pink. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Aha. Here we go. Yes. Blue. Blue and red. Um, mm hmm. Okay, so let's see. This one needs some stuff too. Mm. Is there like a. Oh, here we go. This works. But then what? Which, which way? This way? Or this way? Oh, no. It has to be this way because of the pink. Okay. All right, maybe this. I'm literally just guessing at this point, guys, by the way. Hmm. Hmm, I don't think so. I think this is wrong. Maybe like this? Okay, then that makes this one wrong. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take this one off too. Oh shoot, no. That's not right. That's not right. Because it doesn't have a pink thing here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this one then? Wait, did we just put that one there? Mm, yeah. Hmm. Use a black, yellow, white, long one. This one? Okay. But then what goes here? Then the small brown one?
Yeah, I know. Dang it. <laughs> That's a good idea, though. I can't pick this one up. I can pick this up. Here, let's move this again. Retry. Retry. Maybe it could be this? No, it's this one. I think this one's correct. I think this one's correct. I don't think we should move that one. It could be like this, maybe. Maybe it goes right there. And then, no. But darn it, it doesn't have a connection. It doesn't connect. Maybe we do... Oh, no. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Maybe this. No. Oh, no. It wouldn't work. Because this ha already has a pink thing. I'm thinking this goes here. If this one's right, this one goes here. Because this one doesn't have a little pink thing. And then this one would go here. <gasps> yes, this is it. But now we just got to figure out what to do. Dang it. That doesn't, but, hmm. Dang it. Gosh darn it. I feel like we're so close. <laughs> what in the DNA is going on here? We're trying to pair the two. We're trying to pair the adenine. Uh, what about the yellow, white, brown one? What, this one? Here? This could work, this could work, but if we did this, it doesn't work because there's no pink thing here. Can we replace this with one, maybe? Oh, here we go, here we go. <gasps> this is it. Ah! Oh. Did we do it? That looks right. Right? She didn't make a sound. So normally, normally she says something when it's right. Did, did we get it wrong? If I back out, will it save? Finished with that DNA model? Here it is. Awesome. Okay, your password is WAC35NE136. WAC35NE136. Write it down! -E quick! 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 Got it. Thanks. What else is going on? <laughs> what kind of hard password is that? What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? <laughs> Chance has nothing to do with it. Does that I deserve spell to be word? valedictorian? Therefore, I'm going to be valedictorian. Oh, dang. All right. I mean, put it into the world, right? She doesn't tell us on this one. How dare she? What if there's a tie for the I'm highest junior grade detective. point average? It's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel at. I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. I'll catch you later. No prob. I mean, like, will it into the world, I guess, right? There's nothing wrong with being confident, I think. All right. So... What is that sound? Is this the second time I've heard that sound? Does that say anything? Whack, wackus, nay. Oh, it's a text. I'm in charge of the snack shop. This should be interesting. All right, here I we don't go. I don't even know where it is. Oh, announcements. Becca Sawyer, every student is assigned a school work study task. You are snack shop boss. Failure to perform this task, daily task, will result in three demerits. <gasps> I 
The Black Cat and the Other Poe Stories by Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe has been stolen from the Ivy Special Collections. Five credits to the individual who recovers and returns the book to the library. <gasps> That'll be me. Hi, Maddie. Hey, American Prime Minister Day. What? <laughs> Prime Minister Day? What? What? <laughs> Scheduled maintenance of the school's website will occur during prep week break. Numerous pages and most quick links will be uh, in inoperative during the this time. Any student with information pertaining to the individuals responsible to the re for the recent black cat notes and harmful pranks is to speak to the headmistress immediately. It's for grades 9 through 12. Nestled in the picturesque settlings of the Adirondacks, Waverly Academy is a world-renowned college prep preparatory boarding school exclusively for girls. Established in 1866, our rigorous, our rigorous academic uh, curriculum and social community endow students with the skills and knowledge required to succeed in their future endeavors. The story of Waverly begins shortly after the end of the Civil War. With the conflict over, attention once again turned to the importance of educating the youth of the day. Four influential women were inspired to create a school that would lead the nation in providing an unparalleled uh, level of education for young girls. Dignitas in omnis. These founders, Harriet Ramsey, Rita Hallowell, Mabel Whittier, Whittier and es Esther Abbott. What about the guy? opened the doors and ushered in the first class of 14 girls in the fall of 1866. Today, Waverly Academy continues to embrace its mission statement for excellence in all facets of life and exacting admissions process limits incoming class sizes to 50 students, allowing the girls to experience their studies in an intimate seminar setting with an average student teacher ratio of 12 to one. Much of the boarding experience takes place not in the classroom, but in the hours after the school day ends. Participation in the numerous clubs, activities, and athletics available, along with residential living, develop not only social and intersexual, but lifelong friends. <laughs> yeah, friends. Come and discover the wondrous world of Waverly. We're waiting for you. Dang. English department announces the winner of the coveted pen to paper award. Read the winning essay here. Valedictorian race. Meet the candidates. I guess this is why I can't click on all of this. Oh, resources. Waverly's academic program is designed to prepare graduates for success in college and beyond. An all-girls atmosphere provides a safe environment which enables students to focus on reaching their full potential. Our rigorous cur curriculum offers blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we go. I need to download the photo. Uh, search the catalog. Um, book. Oh. Cool. Um, Ned. The Tale of Cowboys. Uh, for friends. What should I, what should I search? You think I can find, like, an Easter egg? What if I search ghost dogs? Dang it. What if I search... Uh, ca Castle Malloy. Dang it. I don't know what to search. Oh. Oh, I can just type in C. <laughs> numbers, numbers, numbers. The Black Cat and the other Poe stories missing. We need to find that. Cool. They actually wrote stuff down. The heck? Wah. Optical illusions. Facets of violence. Man, we need to get rid of that book. These girls are going to read that. Don't need them to be crazy. The breeze and the tiger. 
Can I read some of these? The history of Northern California. I bet that's riveting. Mm, we see what we believe. D is for dazzling. D is for diamonds. <laughs> Purple hearted queen. Oh my god, it's Hotchkiss. It's Hotchkiss. This is from, uh, Hotchkiss is the, the, the lady from uh, Treasure Royal Tower. Is there any other? That's funny. But technically she's been in other games too. Like I think we've called her. I can't remember which games. <gasps> the Mayan Glyph Catalog. The Mayan Calendar. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember when I played The Secret of the Scarlet Letter. How do you remember? Bro, this is my childhood, okay? Um, I remember way too much when it comes to Nancy Drew. But then I won't remember other stuff when it comes to other games. Oh! No! It's night time! Whoa, look, there's a squirrel! As you recall, last month I expressed concern that Casper, our beloved resident albino squirrel, faced certain starvation this winter because Waverly's groundskeeper had begun keeping the ground below the oak tree where Casper lives spotlessly clean. Practically every acorn that fell was swept up almost immediately, giving Casper no chance to collect them and store them for winter. Okay, so maybe the groundskeeper was doing this because of the infamous Great Popcorn Heist? Back in September, wherein Casper ransacked the backpack of some careless freshman and caused the contents of the bag of popcorn within the get within to get blown from one end of campus to the other. Yes, Casper made a mess, but cutting off his supply of acorns in response was cruel and unusual punishment, right? Anyway, in reaction to the groundskeeper overreaction. I urge all of you to go out every day and gather as many acorns as you could and pile them at the base of the oak tree so Casper would have food for the winter. I call this the SOS campaign. Save our squirrel. And guess what? It worked. The school has ordered the groundskeeper to back off and only clean the ground under the oak tree twice a week. And so ladies, thanks to my suggestion and your efforts, Casper is once again scampering up and down his tree, merrily gathering acorns and getting into his usual mischief. That was written by Izzy. Uh, what is this? Double take? How fast are you? To make all the match? Oh, God. Oh! I know! Okay. Do I get anything from this? I already... Oh, I didn't forget. This one's... Yeah. Where's the, where's the, where's the giraffe? There's a giraffe. Hummingbird. Oh, I thought I saw a hummingbird. Ah. Oh. This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, elephant. Oh. Oh, I know. Yeah. Dog. Oh, hummingbird. Hummingbird. Pig. I don't think I've seen a pig. Oh, the dog. Oh, the snake. There, the snake. The sheep. The monkey. Oh, pig. Frog. Mar 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 Marlin. 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 Ooh, the lion. Oh god, I don't- Oh, lion! Wait, wasn't there a monkey over here? A bull, a bat. Wait, where is the- Zebra! Spider! Bunny. I don't know. Oh, squirrel. Bull. Dragonfly. Alright, monkey. Sheep. Yeah. I beat the top score. I beat take the that, top Izzy. score. Yeah, take that, Izzy. Ah, <laughs> you suck. That's me. I'm so good. Wow. <laughs> First try. I didn't even know I was supposed to beat her. 
Maybe it'll be, maybe he's gonna make her like super, uh, oops, super, um, jealous. We'll see. Theft. Book from library special collections. This black cat and other short stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Five cards will be worth a visual. Blah, blah, blah. Force entry. Student caught breaking into dorm room using their ID card. Keys reportedly locked inside. No damage to door. Whoa, what's that about? Whittier Hall, missing items, MP3 player, silver necklace and earrings, disturbance, minor altercation, two students involved, no injuries reported. <gasps> disturbance, sound violation, Ramsey Hall, student playing musical instruments after lights out, repeat, it, repeat offender. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look, congratulations for posing the high score in double take. You've earned one credit. <laughs> Looks like Mel got another note. Oh, no. Goth girl gets second B black catted. Dang. Oh. You are a snack, snack shop. shop. Shoot, I totally forgot. Oh, okay. All right. To the snack shop. To the snack shop. To the snack shop. What do I do in the snack shop? This is the snack shop, right? This? Snack shop boss orientation guide. The following are the instructions for running the Ramsey Hall snack shop. Man, why is there so many rules? Upon entering the serving area, announce that snack shop is open and the orders can be placed. Individual orders are submitted on a ticket because several tickets may be submitted together. Make sure to scroll through the order list to verify you filled all of them. Students are prepared only one each of the following items per order. Drink, fruit, sandwich, bag of chips, and dessert. Picky. Each student or each ticket shows the items ordered. Place the ordered items on the tray. A serving area has space for two trays, so two orders may be worked on simultaneously. Orders cannot be combined. A tray may only contain items for one order. Don't forget the to to toast the bread or bagel if requested. Students can request any sandwich filling combination of meal, tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese. Fill a sandwich order exactly as indicated on the ticket. Cookies must be baked in the oven before they're served. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> when an order is ready, pre press the pick up call button. If you filled the order correctly, the tray will be taken away. If the order is incorrect, you must remove the incorrect items and replace them with the correct ones before pressing the pick up call button again. A bell sounds and any currently placed student orders are removed when a teacher places an order. Teacher orders must be fulfilled, must be filled immediately. You may receive a credit or demerit based on your speed. Oh, okay, so get the teachers first. Dang, that's also kind of mean, poor students. Why does the teachers need more than students? Anyway, you must fill at least one full round of orders per day. Failure to do so will result in three demerits. Completing five rounds in a day will award you two. Five rounds in a day? Dang. Step right up. The snack shop is open. Snack shop's open. Toasted bagel. Okay. It needs cheese, cheese, lettuce, lettuce. You know, I hate to admit it, but I really like calculus. No, do you, you don't. Hate to admit no, that. I do. I love going to that class. Everybody does. Mr. Harris is like the best looking teacher in the whole universe. I messed up. Wow, talking about the sexy math teacher. It's to snow pretty soon. Blizzard type snow. Does it mean like toasted bagel? I don't know. Uh, okay, pretzels, apple. What in the world? It's a funny sound. Chocolate bar and juice. Is this juice? Okay. All right, then we got bread. Cheese, bread, okay, they're not gonna like melt that or anything? Okay, granola, chocolate bar, and water. Okay, uh, pick up. Foods, oh. order up. Oh, there we go, there we go, we got this. 
Okay, we got it. We got to get faster. How do I know if it's a teacher? Pretzels, water, apple. What kind of? Okay. Food's ready. It's an interesting snack. What is with these people ordering only cheese? A cheese sandwich. Uh, orange, chocolate, milk. Order up. Juice, orange, and a cookie. How do I do the cookies? Oh. Oh! Oh. Cool. <laughs> that lunch is depressing. The yeah. one with just All like done. the water and the apple. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! You know this is too. Ooh, somebody dropped a key! Ooh! A key! Okay, save. Ooh, we got a fancy key. What do you think the key is for? Oh that my- sure got around fast. Oh my gosh, newbie just topped Izzy's double take score. Yeah, I did. Take that, Izzy. <laughs> oh, do you think it's for this? Oh no, this was open. Or we opened that. That was... What do you think this key is for? Maybe this? No. Uh, I can't remember all the doors that had keys. <laughs> Kitchen fire. That cookie looked really good though, didn't it? That looked like some really good cookies. Oh, basement! <gasps> basement. Basement. I wanted to see the squirrel. Save our albino squirrel. Here we go, here we go. <gasps> it worked! Ooh, this is, ooh, this is creepy! Oh, okay. Ooh, this is still creepy though. What is this? Valve reset. Interesting, is this the boiler? <laughs> is this what keeps everybody's water hot in their dorms science can be fun macroeconomics in french cinema fantastic the human brain and its untapped psychic potential america land of adventure oh oh apparently i can open this chapter two region of the united states new england mid-atlantic Southeast, Midwest, the Great Plains, Mountain, Southwest, Texas, yeehaw, West, Territories, do I need to know this? We'll just keep that in our noggin. Is there anything else I can, is that, is that it? Is it always just going to be this now? Okay, it is. So anyways, if we need to know about Merca. Uh, we know where to go. I hear a mouse. Is there anything I can click on this wall? Not, nothing. Oh! Ooh, what's this? Interesting. It's like leaking. <laughs> Wait, did they like patch a hole or something in the wall? I hear that mouse! Is there anything else? Okay, I guess not. Oh my god, I could easily get locked down there. Uh, okay. Uh, so we did our thingy. Did I, did I get demerited? I didn't get demerited, did I? It says, or you will get three demerits, but I did it, so we're good. Should we go back to the library? I wasn't done in there. There was too much to read. Oh no, I forgot my password. Oh, maybe I doesn't. Maybe I don't need it. What was I doing? Highest current double take score. What is it? Minus one. What is this? Did she beat my score already? What is this? Waverly prides itself, blah, 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 honesty, 
respect, punctuality, class. Oh, seniors don't get breakfast or evening study hall. Maybe they can choose. Lights out. Wow, seniors get to stay up. <laughs> Must be nice. Why do I have a negative one? Where is that? Am I not the top score anymore? What does that mean? It fixed itself. Oh, the audio? Oh, is it fine? I need to go use the restroom. Imagine if the game, it just gives you surprise pop-up quizzes like Persona. I would be here for it. Oh, negative is good. Positive is bad. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right. I need to put in... Wait, how do I do this again? Here. Perfect. All right, uh, who are we missing? Um, Megan, oh, and Leela. I don't think I've gotten Megan or Leela. <laughs> I can't, pro photographer. <laughs> ah. All right. Um Was there anything else I needed to do? Oh, I guess you're right. Now that it, it's it's demerit. So negative negative is okay, yeah. Duh. Of course. Duh. Uh oh, duh. All right, what do I need to do now? Let's see. Still have to do that. Where's Ramsey Hall? Check out the student Haven't guide. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. What? Why? Why? What did I? Why? Oh. Oh, maybe I needed to click next. Uh, let's see. Demerit system. Noise violation, failed room inspection. Not applicable during school breaks. Knocking on floor mates' doors after lights out. Wait, how do we know what time it is? Oh, it's 7.48. <laughs> okay, when was lights out again? 10 p.m.? I don't know if everybody is a senior, so I'm just going to say 10 p.m. is lights out. So I just won't knock on any doors at, after 10 p.m. Awake in room past lights out. Am I a senior? Am I a senior? No, I am a senior. I am a senior. So I don't have to go to bed until 11. I wonder if Nancy forces me to go to bed. Or if the game means... Yeah, maybe it means I do need to go to bed. What in the world? Open flame in room, including candles. Uh, that's fair. Late to breakfast check-in. Oh, seniors don't have to worry about that. Skipping daily work study duty. Minor vandalism. <laughs> Climbing the front yard oak tree. Oh, late to class, inappropriate attire, disrespecting fellow students or faculty. Uh, missing evening study hall, freshmen, sophomores only. Caught in the school halls after lights out. Breaking into another student's room. Only five points. And also, <laughs> minor vandalism is only three points. The heck? Uh, stealing property, an un unauthorized guest in room during daylight hours, act of vandalism. Oh, there's the five points. Ten points, unauthorized entrance to locked classroom, unauthorized town visit, unauthorized overnight guest. <laughs> Credits are awarded to students who go above and beyond. Completion of volunteer extracurricular projects, posting the latest high score and double take. Five to nine community service hours in a month. Over 10 community service hours, working more than required time, and daily work study duty. Is that the, is that the snack thing? Tutoring upperclassmen, assisting teachers, straight A's. Wait, is that it? Was that, was that all the student life? Okay, is there anything else I need to know? 
I think that's good. Can I check mark that? Haven't done that. I don't know where Ramsey Hall is, so I guess I need to look around. Investigate the reference to more. Did that. Oh, apparently I did that. Finish the Check. did that. Unlock did Check. that. Take pictures. Still have to do that. Mm, ask Leela if she has a picture of Megan. Still have to do that. Where is Leela? Well, it's almost nighttime, so maybe I can go. What's her name again? I forgot her name. I don't think she's Leela. She's. Or is she Leela? Maybe she is Leela. Hey, what's going on? Oh, she is. Okay. I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you. Yeah, I've got a picture of her you could use. And if you beat me at a game of air hockey, I'll go get it for you. Bring it on. Oh, what? Bring, Bring it on. It on. <laughs> That's the spirit. Okay. First, you're going down. Then Hi, Lilacs. Hi. With your mallet and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when <laughs> I, I girl, I know how air hockey your works. Goal, use your mallet to block it. If you can. You can <laughs> if only you can. use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Okay. Got it? How are you doing to it. today, Lila? Happy Sunday. I want the blue one. Oh my god. Wait, this is cool. Ah! Oh god. Oh god, I hate when this happens. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, this is actually kind of cool. <gasps> oh no! Yes. I did that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fun. <gasps> yeah, get ready. Call yourself an athlete? You not even go with air hockey? Yeah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah! Oh, no! Yeah. Uh huh. Don't be cocky. Don't get cocky. Girl. What is her name again? I like <laughs> this game. <laughs> Coin. <laughs> ah! Point for me. I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna make sure she doesn't get any points. <laughs> redo. I need only one more score. Look, now she's actually trying hard. Stop it! Just accept your f defeat! <laughs> no! Get in! <laughs> yes! And there the we go. winner is you! Congrats! Guess I owe you a picture. Next time I go upstairs, I'll get it. For you. <laughs> Wait, that's really fun again? though. I like that. Yeah, one more time. How are you doing today, Lilac? Thank you again for the two month resub. Let's do it again. Sure. This, oh, purple. Wait, do I get different colors every time I win? Got a point. <laughs> Classic self goal. When I actually play air hockey like this in real life, that happens to me all the time. One for the good guys. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Does that mean she's not a good guy? Does that mean she's a black cat? Nancy, Nancy tattle telling. Oh God. God, what is the hit that I did? No! Goal! This is a so this is a soccer. Yeah. 
you beat me. Nice job. <laughs> Wanna play again? No. No thanks. <laughs> That's fun though. Oh my god. What the heck? That's cool. Was it did you get the picture? Did you get that picture of Megan for me? Sorry, I haven't gone want... back to my room yet. Haven't gone back to my room yet. Do I... What time is it? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high <laughs> grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. So it's okay if you aren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. Hmm, interesting, interesting. She could be the black cat. She could be what the black cat. What would happen hat. if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the oh year? Oh my god, Nancy. They'd probably pull my scholarship. So not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's gonna wind up injured too. Ooh, oh man. I mean, she has more of a reason to be a be a target than a victim, unless she's the black cat. Interesting. Well, I don't know. She doesn't sound like she's a black cat though. This girl's heading for a burnout later in life, calling it now. <laughs> Any idea what happened to the book of post stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. Wow! I'll let you go. I Bye. would totally slap her and I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you again in air hockey. Jeez, that's so mean. Holy cow, that was really uncalled for. I'm gonna don't be the one who injured her if she keeps calling people that. All right, can you give me the locked. freaking Izzy? Izzy give me the else. gosh darn! Someone didn't lock their door. It's not locked. Yeah, I know. Wait, do I need a photo of her? I think I need a photo of her. Hi. Hi, I'm Becca Sawyer. Remember? Sorry, I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. Oh, right. Let's do it. Oh my god. She forgot my name even though I'm helping her. Ready when you are. Fab, listen. Be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures up Fab. Ahead, okay? I can't remember. Kay. Did I tell you not to bother with Danielle Hayes' picture? No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Sorry, my mind is going all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. I'll go so you can get back to work. Later. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know and I don't really care. See ya. She's the black cat. She doesn't have any notes. Is there anything in here that I can click on? That's a suspicious closet. Ooh, what's this? Can I click on any of these books? No? All right. Izzy- uh Oh, Lila's not gonna like that. <gasps> Izzy has a date Izzy has date for Oxbro Bash with Leela's boyfriend. Oops, make that ex-boyfriend. <gasps> oh my god, and they're roommates! What? Oh, oh my god, let's talk to Leela. That's what Leela gets for calling Mel a freak. It's only your fair boyfriend to warn snatched. you, I'm not in a very good mood right now. Because of Izzy and your boyfriend? Because of Izzy and your boyfriend? <laughs> of course because of Izzy and my boyfriend. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find Jacob. out? Jacob! Jacob Black! it's all over school. Mm. Blame it on the boy. <laughs> Maybe it's more Jacob's fault than hers. Jacob's just like any other guy, and let's face it, guys are basically sheep. 
The minute somebody says, hey, the grass is greener over here, boom, they're gone. Mm -hmm. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who sheep. does that to their own roommate? <laughs> wow, I didn't know guys were sheep. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Up your standards, girl, right? Wow. Wow. Have you confronted her? Have you confronted her yet? No. And no. you know what? I don't think I will. I'm just gonna act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not gonna say a word. I'm gonna let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. <laughs> because I will definitely get back at her. In the meantime, I'm just gonna shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I've got it right here, but the only way you're going to get it from me is by beating me at Scram. What? What do you say? I thought you said I had to beat you at air hockey. Ugh. These girls are witches. This is what the W stands for. Should be a B, but whatever. Um, <laughs> what? Wow, oh, she's terrifying. She is. <laughs> uh, bring it on. Same as before. Bring it on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Each game has two rounds. Oh. You play one round the as the blocker and the other round as the scorer. And you take turns throwing the darts. First, the blocker throws three darts. Then the scorer throws three darts and so on. Now, the object of the game is for the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers, while the object of the game for the score is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? That's right. Once all the numbers are blocked, the rolls are reversed and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? No. I'm ready. Game on. No. So, in this round, you're the blocker, and you're going to try to hit the high numbers so they get crossed off the score list. I think I got it. Okay, so now it's my turn to throw, and I get to score. Guess I better go for the high numbers before you take them out. That works. <gasps> Bullseye! Bullseye? Oh, I did. I got bullseye. All right. So I need to get all of the higher numbers. Uh, so, but I got 50. What? Well, I did not get marked off. Do I need to get 18 now? So 18. That works. Oh my God. I'm amazing. I didn't even mean to aim for that. But why didn't it mark off? Oh, go for more bullseyes. That works. Oh. Gosh, I'm good. <laughs> Gosh, it. I'm good. Um, only blocker crosses them off. It only marks off if you're the blocker. Okay, I guess I didn't really explain the situation or explain the rules. Do I just keep getting bullseye now? Should go for all 16s now. Oh, okay. I did it! Oh, since bullseye is crossed. So I should get all 16? That works. I did it! Gosh, I'm good. Leela has oh, a yeah. zero. I have a two score of 200. Nailed it! Does that mean I'm winning? Now what? <laughs> Gosh, I'm good. So I need to get 14s? You get all the high values to score, and then on the defense, you get the high numbers to prevent them from scoring. Okay, so all 14. Okay. Do I want to try to get the black? Did I get the black in that? Did I do that Ooh, well? That. Yes! I don't think I did it right. Okay. Now I get the 12s. I 
I don't think double and triple work in this game. Okay. That I'll just, works. I'll just focus I on did it. getting this then. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now I need to do eight. All right. I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Darn it. Darn it. Yes. Am I winning? The fact that I have a score of 348 Gosh, and a score I'm good. of zero maybe thinks that I'm winning. Nailed it. Where's four? All right. <laughs> Gosh, I'm good. If you block her well next round, oh, you yeah. will. Okay. I just need to get a one, right? <laughs> just need to get all ones and then I win? I did it! All right! All right. I'm blocker this round. Okay, now I'm blocker. So, what is my responsibility? I'm supposed to get... I'm supposed to take all of the high numbers away, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get the bullseye. Missed. I did it! Okay. Oh, yeah. Dang it. So now she got... Okay, I understand this game now. Okay. 19... Okay, 8... Uh, what was 19? Okay, 19... And then 18... Okay. Got it. Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Alright, so 17... 16... Bingo! 15. Am I winning still? I understand now. I get it. Nailed it! I've never played this game before. Alright, four... I mean, I've played darts, but... It's like a different dart game. Whoa! <laughs> yes! Nailed it! Wow, her score jumped. So I, you do get more points if you're in this ring. Dang it, I should have focused on that. I am nervous now. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> they do work, yeah. Oh God, I'm nervous, I should have aimed better. No! All right, where's eight? Eight. That didn't count? That works. What? Was it because it was on the line? No! She's gonna win. No! Stop. Gosh, I'm good. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop. You can't win. All right. I need that darn photo. I think she's oh, yeah. I think it's fine. Okay, I think it's fine too. Okay, I win. Ha ha! <laughs> Where's two? Oh. All right. All right, guess who you the win. winner is. Kudos. Yeah, Here's I the win. Photo Megan, you wanted. Wow. Great. That's Looks like I'll Megan. have to take a picture of a picture. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Let's get that hair. Yes. Perfect. It doesn't Wanna play again? No. No thanks. Need anything else? Cool, we can play her in these games I'll at any time. Go. Hang in there. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> alright, uh alright, let me go upload these photos real quick. What time is it? I think we're still good on time. Perfect. And then I could tell her it's done. Um, 
Wait, where do I do it again? Oh, there we go. What? Are you kidding me? Going to her room and demanding here. her to accept Not now, it. Okay. Ah! Not now, okay? Oh, oh! Let's go talk to Izzy, the boyfriend stealer. <laughs> Scammed. Dang it! Do I really have to do it? I wouldn't have messed up then if I had to do it right. Oh, that's so frustrating. I thought you said we didn't have to be good at taking photos. Ugh. Fine. How's it going? I need to take your picture again. Sorry. Fine with me. <laughs> That's it. We're joining the black cat. Just push the button already. Fine! Okay. What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbro's holiday bash and I said yes. Big whoop. But he was dating Leela. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. <laughs> Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just gonna have to deal with it. Did you see that I beat your double take score? Well, enjoy the sweet taste of victory while you can, because you won't be on top for long. Winning is something I'm real good at. Let's see about that. The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Uh, no. No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. I read your blog on the school website. Oh yeah? You like it? It was okay. <laughs> Gotta keep my name out there, you know. And my face. I mean, it's doubtful some rich, powerful person <laughs> it was okay. is be checking out Waverly's website, but you never know. <laughs> If don't hate the player, hate the game was a person. <laughs> I need to get going. Yeah. No problem. Jeez, man. All right, let's see if I can speed run these photos. Please don't hey, make what's me. What's going on? Please don't make me. I need to take fight your you again. again. You mind? Go right ahead. Fire away. Is there a problem? I should get it when they're speaking. That's it for now. Okie dokie. Or like when they're blinking or something. Is that even a thing? Do they even blink? What's up, Rumi? I need to take your picture again. Jeez. Could you speed it up a little? I better get going. Ah. Bye. Off to whatever. Fire away. Help. Disappearing under a mound. Oh, wait. It's already I'm open. I'm here. How goes it? I need to take your picture again. Groovy. Oh, I can take a photo when she blinks. So take the picture. Dang it, blink. 
Can we please get this over with? Oh, dang it. I'm trying to get them when they blink. Darn it. It's too hard. I'll quit bugging you. Drop in any time. Oh, well. Uh, who else do I need a photo of? What? This girl. You're here to take my picture over, aren't you? <laughs> I don't even know. Remember, come back when you've got them all uploaded. Okay, the only thing is I need a better photo of the photo. <laughs> uh, how do I get the photo of the photo? Hey, what's going on? I better get going. Hit him hard. How do I? Oh, here we go. Alright, let me go upload since mine wasn't good enough. Wait, if I do Attention, this again. Attention, everyone. Oh. As of now, the snack shop is open. Oops, I didn't actually mean to click that, but okay. Meet a teacher order. I've got to get this one done fast. If I'm fast enough, I can earn a credit. Too slow, and I'll get a demerit. Oh my god, you get a demerit? The heck? Water, apple. Oh my god, this teacher wants the world, man. Nuts. Okay, what do you want? You want lettuce, meat, cheese, 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 lettuce, meat, tomatoes. Wait, did I do that? Wait, was that, what was that <clears throat> sound? I'm too slow. I've got to move faster. What? Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. Wait, do I? <laughs> wow. Another teacher order. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do they want a cookie? Freaking. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Apple, uh, granola. What else do you want? What do you want from me? Tomato, a lettuce, 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 tomato, meat, lettuce. What else do you want? Freaking chocolate bar. Here. I think I made a mistake. What? What's the mistake? Oh. Come get your order. <laughs> oh, you received one credit from prompt snap shop service. <laughs> God. I didn't go, I didn't be so fast with that. Jeez. Freaking, freaking teachers, man. Impatient as heck. <laughs> I like an open air sandwich. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's see. Um, what am I doing again? I need to up here, this. Is that good enough? Is that good enough? Is it good enough? It looks like it's good enough. All right, let me go tell her I'm done with her stupid project. Oh. You get one credit for enhancing the school website. Oh. Oh, wait, I get credit? Oh, I should have done better that whole time then. I didn't know I got credit. I thought I was doing the work for her. It's not locked. Someone didn't lock their door. Not now, okay? Why don't these girls lock their door? What do you mean, not now? I just finished your work for you! Alright, let's see. What else do I need to do? Can't check that off yet. Did that. Check. That's done. That's done. This is so satisfying. Did that. Did that. Did that. That's done. To this, to Still that. have to do that. Check. Can't check that off yet. <laughs> Take all the pictures for Rachel correctly. 
Dang. Still have to do Freaking that. And even Nancy called me out. How do I turn it in? I can't in? talk now. Okay, maybe I should like go to bed and make it the next day or something. Oh wait, I want to talk to this girl. Come on in. This girl had. Oh. Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. Student bod prez got black catted. Oh. Greetings once again. Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. Vacuous? Wow. Would you say she's the most popular girl in your class? Absolutely. Sometimes the sound of everyone sucking up to her is positively deafening. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning really, me too, and school Lula. spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. You know what would be so cool is if they had an app so we can make our own to-do list. So then anytime we did could check it off, it would be Nancy saying, did that? Did that? I can't think of the other thing she says. You can check that off. You know, like, that would be so cute. But only probably Nancy Drew fans would really like that. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Do you think she's smart? Extremely. Which, to me, makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. I called Megan Vargas. Yeah? How is she? Haven't you talked to her? No. We're not very close. Any particular reason why? We're just not, that's all. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. Does anyone else think it's Izzy? Megan, my missing in action roommate, she thinks it's Izzy too. Of course, that's because she hates Izzy for stealing her boyfriend. My reasoning is more logical. Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. Dang. <laughs> she also stole her her roommate's boyfriend too. Wow. Do you by any chance have a Megan's library boyfriend. book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. I'll let you get back to your music. Sounds good. Do I still have time to go and talk to Izzy? How's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. Oh, that's kind of fair. May I see it? May I see it? Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. Burned it? What? How? I need to get going. See ya. She burned it? In a school? <laughs> What? Someone call a fire alarm. Fire alarm. Still have to do that. But did I not take the photos correctly? Hold on. Perfect zoom, bad pan. What? Man, way to be picky! Way to be picky! Jeez! What the heck? There's girls in their picky photos. I mean, it's fair. I'm the same way. Turtle, thank you for the tier two in the 24 months. What the heck? Thank you. Okay, so. Like this? Is that good enough? Also, who else need the darn photos of this girl, right? So picky. I'm here. Let me take your photo. You're here to take my picture over, aren't you? Yeah, apparently I did it wrong. I don't understand. Could we please get this over with? I feel like I did that last time. Remember, come back when you've got them all uploaded. Man, this has been the hardest freaking photo taking ever what the heck 
Okay, this better work. How do I do? Oh, yeah, I need to connect my phone. There you go. There. Is that good? Is that good? How do I how do I know if it's good? Do I have to like go out and then like go back in? Oh, it says it's under construct. Oh, maybe I did it right this time. All right, maybe I did it right this time. I'm here. Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now Fab. I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. <sighs> what if I'd rather lay everything out my way? You can't. That would be cheating. This is my project. It's got to be done my way. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me cuz I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew. I forgot to say it before. I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. What? What in the 2009 is this? I just want to have you as a friend. I don't mind you walking all over me. I won't set any boundaries. It's okay. I'll just do your work for you and take no credit. <laughs> Plagiarism? Is that true or is it just a rumor? Ooh. <laughs> it's open. Let's go ask. It's not true if that's what you want to know. So they're not going to so expel you? So they're not going you? to expel you? They're sure talking about it, which is so unfair. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. <laughs> Can you prove that you didn't? I'm not allowed to try. They've locked my computer account to make sure I don't mess with anything on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. <laughs> I was sure to get caught? <laughs> so she's thought about this before. You think someone's trying to frame you? Day after Megan left, I found a note under my door. And then, not too long ago, I got another one. Both were from the black cat. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just Aww. before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. <laughs> I didn't get address? a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that? That's all I'm Please? asking? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. What? Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. <laughs> Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources girls, for Paper man. Trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Uh huh. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? I'll quit bugging you. I need Doors to stop bugging open. these people. They keep giving me tasks to do. All right. Uh, 
find out pl plagiarism, I guess. Save. Wow, well, this game's been fun as heck so far. But I unfortunately need to go because it is 4 o'clock. Take a full black <laughs> This has been so interesting. Who hasn't been hit? I guess the girl, what's her name? Rachel? Is it Rachel? I can't remember their names anymore. Hold on, let's see. Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. Rachel's the one who hasn't got hit yet. Oh. Curfew for seniors begin at 11 p.m. You must be in your room by the point of time. Okay, so you do have to stop it. Oh. Oh my god, so much text. 